Hey, what's up guys and dolls? Uh, welcome back to the Toyland. It's time for another episode of Cover to Cover with M. Um, last week, I said we'd look at Superman, something Superman. And I was like, you know, what book should I do? I almost grabbed Red Sun after initially considering uh, the death of Superman, Superman Omnibus. <clears throat> but then I seen my Smallville collection. I have like eight volumes of this. And I thought... Hell yeah. Let's look at Smallville. Uh, Smallville was pretty divisive. Uh, the fans that loved it, like myself, really loved it. And the people that hated it, really hated it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I grew up with Smallville. The show premiered when I was 12 years old. And I, yeah, I grew up into adulthood watching this show. I absolutely loved it. Well, I missed the final season. On TV, for the most part, I was really uh, busy at that time. But uh, yeah, I eventually once it came out on disc, I bought it and watched the whole thing. And yeah, um, a lot of people dislike the show because you know it was basically teasing Superman for the most part uh, the entire time. But that's what it was, you know. It's his journey from Clark Kent as a young man to becoming the Man of Steel, you know, the guy we all know and love, or don't love, whatever, the guy we all know, <laughs> um, yeah, I was super stoked when I learned about this series, because, like, that's, you know, uh, the series ended with him finally putting on the suit, but you never really get, like, a straight-on look at him. It's always, like, quick flashes of him flying or something in front of the camera. So, yeah, I mean, wh and when they started the series, they did say, two things we can promise you, no tights, no flights. Well, he ended up flying by, like, season three when he was uh, basically all badass. He was, like, evil. He was, like, uh, it was, like, his human side was, the, you know, that he was had learned was completely suppressed, and he was, like, full-on Kryptonian, and, like, really mean and, uh, hateful, and he flies then, and it's pretty badass, um, yeah, so he did fly, and then, yeah, we did get the tights at the end, and he did have a couple costumes, uh, in the show, um, like, after he fought Doomsday, which he didn't die in the show, but, someone very close to him did and that following the season following that he wore all black with a gray s or a whitish s on his uh shirt and then in season 10 before he put on the suit for the most part he wore this really cool he did he had like the hair he had like the superman hair but he wore this like really badass uh like almost like a biker jacket but it had like uh the House of L crest on the chest and everything. I actually have it. I have a replica of it hanging on my wall, and we will take a look at it. But, yeah, Smallville, big deal for this guy. Loved it. And this gives us exactly what everybody wanted from that show. It's full-on Superman uh, in that world, in that universe. Very cool. Um, yeah. Those of you that watch the show... Uh, know that at the end Lex Luthor returned finally after a long time of being away which was sad because Michael Rosenbaum is a killer Lex Luthor I loved his Lex and he's back and now obviously Superman is known to the world he's out and uh, naturally we get their uh, their their classic rivalry and Lex starts uh, you know, basically waving a red flag uh, against Superman, saying, you know, don't praise this guy, be, you know, beware of him. And he implements plans, you know, with all of his money and power uh, to create technology that goes into orbit and will protect the Earth. So we don't, you know, we don't need a Superman if we have this. Well, naturally, uh, the first uh, launch goes off and, you know, to get one of these things in orbit. And, of course, everything goes awry and it ends up being up to Superman to save the day. So, yeah, take that, Lex. <laughs> um, 
yeah, that's all there really is to it. I don't want to say too much. I also haven't read this book in a good while. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good gist of it without uh, revealing anything. It's got all the classic characters from the TV show. We got Oliver Queen, uh, you know, as the Green Arrow. Um, these two were always, you know, he was kind of like, the Green Arrow was like the Batman of this universe. Not in the sense that he was like Batman. The Oliver Queen now on the new Arrow show is a lot like Batman. Very brooding and dark. Where Oliver Queen normally is very, kind of like Hal Jordan. He's kind of a smartass, quippy, and funny. And that's the Green Arrow we got in the Smallville universe. Is that kind of classic uh, comic book version of the Arrow. The Green Arrow. And those two are really close in this story. So in that sense, he's kind of like the Batman with how close they are and the relationship they have. They work together a lot. So, And it's got Chloe, who, of course, uh, is married to the Green Arrow now, which I don't believe she ever existed in the comics. I believe she was a creation for the show, but uh, Lois is there as well. Um, yeah, uh, many others. And on top of continuing the show in a wonderful way, these books go another step further and do something the show never could. Uh, we get Batman. We get Wonder Woman. We get Green Lantern. We get all kinds of crazy shit that really made me happy to see in the Smallville universe. They really went balls to the wall with this uh, Smallville title. Um, the art, it varies. It's never super horrible, I guess, that I can remember. But sometimes it's definitely better than others. But, you know... That happens with most books if you have multiple artists or very busy artists. Um, they have a unique take on the suit in this. You can see it there. It's got these dark stripes, kind of, on the inside of the suit. I like it. I mean, you know, I, I like most Superman suits. I can't really think of one off the top of my head I don't care for. There's so many, and they do a good job of thinking up new ways to vary them, so... Yeah, you can see the covers. The covers are always fantastic. I believe it's a... I can't remember her name, but I believe it's a woman that always does the covers for these. And she is fantastic at capturing the likenesses of these guys. Like, that looks so much like Tom Welling. And when she does uh, Michael Rosenbaum's Lex Luthor, like, it just... It looks so much like him. She's a great artist. I quite enjoy the covers she does, so... Uh, yeah, we'll look at more of these coming up. I don't have too much more to say about this. So, in the future, look forward to issues where they introduce Batman and stuff like that. Uh, those of you who didn't like the show or never even watched it, maybe, maybe you can find uh, a new appreciation for it in the form of these comic books. Because it's, <laughs> it's way fun. Um, I keep going back to the Batman one. I absolutely love when they bring Batman into this universe. Very, uh, it's a pretty unique take on Batman. I mean, he's still Batman, but just his look is pretty cool, different. Um, yeah, uh, again, I'm not going to say too much more about it. We'll go over it when we get to that one. I think that's actually volume two. Uh, the next book, I believe, introduces Batman, if I remember correctly. Like I said, been a while since I read uh, these guys. So, but yep, big Smallville fan. I have all the seasons. Like I said, I have that jacket replica. I love that jacket. It's such a cool, like, non-Superman costume costume, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, um, I guess I'm done here. Here, let me, uh, turn this over. I should mention... Written by Brian Q. Miller, who some of you probably recognize that name. He works on, like, all the DC TV shows. He worked for uh, on Smallville, and he also writes for comics. And art by, uh, I'm not sure how to say that, Per Perez? Perry Perez? Here, you guys can uh, pause that and read that if you would like. Right here, Brian Q. Miller. He wrote for Smallville. He writes Batgirl and this uh, Perry Per Perez fella uh, also works, does the art on Batgirl. I'm not sure which run of Batgirl that is exactly, but they did. So, yeah, one more time here. Show off a little bit more of the art. Not too bad. It's not the greatest, but it's certainly not the worst either. 
you can make really simple art look pretty good just by uh, having a decent knowledge and ability to apply lighting to understand shadows and everything. You can make a pretty simple dramatic look more detailed and more fulfilled and more interesting just by playing with light. So, yeah. Not uh, not too shabby at all. Definitely fun reads, though. Like I said, if you didn't like Smallville, you just might find yourself being able to appreciate these books because of the, the scope is so much bigger. So much bigger than the show. And, uh, of course, if you did like the show, then you should really be able to get into these because... Yeah, way fun. It just, it basically does everything the show never would or could. Just, like I said, balls to the wall. They hit it hard, they hit it fast, and they really bring it. I, I quite enjoy these, so. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Longer than I intended. But, of course, we got a little Smallville recap, because I don't know how many of you guys that'll watch this like have ever even seen an episode of Smallville. You never know. Some of you may have ever, never even heard of it. Uh, it ended in, what, 2011, I think, so, wow, that show is just about six years old now, that's insane, where does the time go? <sighs> Alright, well, yeah, thanks for the tuning, guys, I appreciate it, as always, uh, I got some appreciation coming at you guys real quick, I really need to do my subscriber video, it's up to like 215 now, I just jumped again real big, I appreciate that, guys. So, yeah, I'll do a video de uh, dedicated specifically to all of you out there in the toy land watching my stuff. Um, yeah, I intend to do that tonight. Otherwise, foot down, I'm taking care of it tomorrow. Tomorrow's, I don't think, going to be such a busy day. It's been a busy, uh, like, last week, really. <laughs> so, yeah, till next time, guys, keep on rocking.